Did you know that a group of zebras are called a dazzle? This name refers to a phenomenon called motion dazzle, an optical illusion that occurs when groups of zebras move quickly together. According to researchers, the zebra's distinctive black and white stripes can cause visual illusions and confuse the visual fields of other mammals, including predators. I'm your host, Romy Casanino, and I'm a conservation scientist, writer, and photographer. Every episode, we'll be introducing you to new animals caught on camera traps around the world. These are some of the extents we take to get our SD card. Don't forget to subscribe to Mongabe to get notifications about our latest videos. Plains and zebra, also known as the common zebra, is one of the three species of zebra that exist in Africa. The other two are the gravy zebra and the mountain zebra. Being the most abundant of the three, they live in grasslands south of the Sahara, from South Sudan and Southern Ethiopia, extending south along Eastern Africa, as far as Botswana and South Africa. The species name quagga is derived from the African Khoikhoi language word for zebra and is onomatopoeic for its call. With their black and white stripes, zebras are one of the most recognizable animals in the world. Zebra stripes are unique as human fingerprints. Now, have you ever wondered why these animals have this pattern? A 2012 study suggests that the coat pattern polarizes light in such a way that it discourages biting flies from landing on the zebra's fur. If you think about it, zebras live in areas with very high fly activity, so they need all the protection. If you've ever wondered whether zebra are white with black stripes or black with white stripes, zebra skin is actually black underneath their black and white striped coat. Recently, scientists have been finding more and more zebras that don't have stripes at all, but are rather polka dotted or speckled golden brown. And these abnormalities are thought to be due to inbreeding in smaller and zebra populations. And this is a worrisome conservation concern of inbreeding in more serious genetic mutations. Where I work in the Serengeti ecosystem, zebra, along with little beasts and gazelle, will travel for thousands of miles between Tanzania and Kenya following the seasonal rain. This movement of the world's largest terrestrial overland migration. Plain zebras are nomadic and non territorial. They are more active during the day and spend most of their time feeding almost entirely on grasses. Because they are constantly grinding food, zebras' back teeth continue to grow throughout their lives. The plains zebra is a highly social species, forming harems with a single stallion, several mares, the name for an adult female, and their recent offspring. Groups of up to 15 young males, or bachelors, also exist. Bachelors prepare for adulthood by play fighting with each other. They will stay in their groups until they're ready to start a harem. So how do males form and expand their harems? When a female reaches sexual maturity and has her first estrus cycle, she attracts the attention of nearby males. Stallions will then abduct young mares from their natal harems, but first they will have to fight the female's family stallion. As there is safety in numbers, to avoid predation by lions, hyenas, cheetahs, or African wild dogs, sometimes, and especially during migrations, multiple harems and bachelor groups come together to form large herds of hundreds of animals. Even though the plains zebra is common in game reserves, outside of them it is threatened by habitat loss due to human encroachment, agricultural practices, and livestock grazing, and competition with livestock. Zebras are also hunted for their meat. As of 2016, the plains zebra is classified as near-threatened by the IUCN. In the next episode, we'll be meeting the smallest member of the North American deer family. Tell us in the comments if you know what animal it is. See you next time. Mongabe.